it's real but when i'm with you i feel a little closer to heaven and yes you move me that much and i get from your touch a little closer to heaven okay this is a message for beth hi beth um thank you very much for your question so um, the, mess the question from Beth is, hi Diane, um, I have a question I would like answered. I am an angel reader also, but I have a fear of going to the next level. What is holding me back? Thanks, Beth. Thanks, <laughs> Beth. I'm <laughs> sorry. Right, okay, great. So, Beth, hmm. the first thing that I felt, without sort of uh, uh, wanting to open too much up in this space, is... Um, I had a sense that you were teased when you were younger. I had a sense that there was some, you know, and this is going back um, quite young and then carrying on through. And it feels like it carried on through till about 11. I'm not gonna go into all of it here, but I feel that there were situations around you that have made you question yourself generally. And um, so when you step out, there's always a sense of, oh, I'm going to be judged, I'm going to be critical. I'm not even being given a past life with this, although I know that obviously we repeat similar influences again and again and again. But I feel that that is one thing that's having an impact on you. Another thing is, I want you to understand that the levels, what we see as levels here, and I know you'll understand this, I know you'll get this, but this is just what's coming from spirit right now in this moment, and it too is subject to change as you grow. What we, as we all grow, okay? Because that's what we're all about, expansion and growing, and this is where we are right now. What we see as levels here are not the same as what spirit see as levels. So in other words, you are progressing, you are growing, you are flowering and flourishing beyond what was expected of you in this lifetime. And I've got chills saying that. And they want you to acknowledge that first and foremost. <laughs> They're saying our levels are not the same as your levels. So when you're in consciousness and you're in this body and you're looking at the way things could be and comparing that to the way things are on a practical material level even in terms of your desire to reach more people to do more to express more to you know to offer more even that in a sense is not how we perceive being on the next level if there is in fact such a thing because in fact it's not quite as linear as that it's a question of expansion and growing and evolving, experiencing and touching. You are touching many, many lives and there is a ripple effect constantly, constantly, of which you are not even aware. You are not aware of the scale and magnitude of it. You are not aware of the scale and magnitude of the work that you do when your eyes are closed, when you are asleep, let's just say. So moving on to the next level is in a sense a fact a fallacy because you are working on a very very um, let's say evolved level and a very effective level we're not here to flatter you are working very very effectively in a sense this is one of the things that is holding you back at this point because you haven't yet discovered how to close the gap between what you believe is possible to hold on to in integrity while creating a greater vision in the physical world. And this will change and evolve in time as you continue to evolve and grow. So in other words, it's, it's just another set of beliefs. When you release the shackles of these beliefs, then you will expand, your vision will expand and your work will expand to match the contribution that you are actually making on all these other, let's just say, for now, levels. I hope you understood that. I didn't quite catch all of it myself. I allowed some of it to just come through. I might have to watch the video later, but I hope that was helpful to you. I'm also going to pick some cards, but I'm not going to question my guides in their wisdom. Um, it's looking good. It's looking good. Don't rush it. So. 
those are shuffled we're going to look at those in a minute they also gave me number 78 from the book so let's see what that is it's the higher plan sometimes patience is the hardest thing to learn but when there are delays and hold-ups there is always a higher story playing out somewhere behind the scenes life teaches us this uh, Time, life teaches us this time and time again, but we continue with our impatience because this is our nature. Live from the higher self today and express your divine essence. Breathe. Your patience will be rewarded soon and you will see once again the wisdom of the divine plan. So that's really your answer. Your answer is, my sense of it is, this is the vibration that I'm feeling. You're preparing for it, okay? And you're not going to be preparing for it forever, forever, but you are preparing. You're in a, you're still in the preparation stages. And, you know, when everyone, the world is ready for your vision, it will very neatly and conveniently coincide with you having dealt with those beliefs and opening up to the idea that you can bring a pure thread through of God consciousness and reach a lot of people at the same time. There are countless examples of this, you know, countless examples of people doing this, but that, that's where I'm feeling there's a little bit of stuckness with you, okay? Um, with not quite believing it. Let's just quick, uh, past, present, future. That's where you've come from. This is where you are. That's where you're going. Okay, so, Right, you have, um, uh, you've come to a, a phase where you've had to prioritise things differently in your life and it's partly because you're, um, as you would say, not getting to this uh, next level. However, you are learning something wonderful from the way you've had to re reprioritise and it just isn't apparent to you just yet what you're learning. I've just heard keep your feet on the ground, very important because you could fly off and as you learn to keep your feet on the ground and hold these higher frequencies, you will one day understand why you had to learn that because it's gonna be very important. A lot of teachers are gonna be needed to teach a lot of people that. When, I mean, we think higher frequencies are coming in now and blowing us away, just wait. <laughs> so pace yourself, go with it. Career transition, yes, that's fine. It's all a blessing, it's all wonderful. You cannot not fulfill your mission in this lifetime, I promise you, you're gonna be okay. <laughs> and uh, clairvoyance, more clairvoyance coming in that will give you um, more confidence in the path, okay? Because you, will, you are, through your reaching and questioning and frustration, developing even more because you're asking and you're asking and you're asking so they're having to come in more and your centres are opening up more and you're seeing more. You are going to move into a very strong phase of developing your ability to see more, okay? And that is also going to help you to expand your reach, okay? Um, that's all I'm going to say on that for now, but um, if you want any help from me, please contact me because I feel I could help you. And that's it. That's all I'm going to say for now. Thank you so much for being here and for all your wonderful input with everything and for this great, great, great question. Love it. Hope that helped you. Take care. Bye. I don't know if it's real, but when I'm with you I feel a little closer to heaven. And yes, you move me that much. Get from your touch a little closer